Okay, um, so uh, this time we're taking a look. Uh, the equation of the curve passes through 1, 3 and has a slope of y over x squared at the point x, y. So this is, um, this is a technical and a nerdy way of telling you that uh, the derivative equals y over x squared. So I'm sure you pick up that at this point. I, I know it's been a while since we talked about derivatives, but slope uh, at a point, that's our derivative. So y over x squared. We're going to try to separate this problem, then integrate it. Um, and I'll tell you, I think, hmm, yeah, I think this one should be okay. Uh, we're going to find the actual solution because we have a point on the original curve, the point 1, 3. So this time when you solve, get rid of your constant by substituting that point. Okay, so um, let's just see if you've gotten your separation done here. So dy over y equals um, 1 over x squared dx. And we'll integrate these. So the left side is going to be the natural log. And this is exponent rules. So uh, 1 higher than negative 2. This is x to the negative 1 over negative 1. And there's a constant there. So if I rearrange this, um, I can cut this down one more time. That means it's going to be um, e to the negative 1 over x plus a constant equals to y. And that constant can be put in the front. So now I have a, a general solution, but the general solution can find the specific one for that point at 1, 3 by putting in the values at 1 for x and 3 for y. Okay, so that means e to the negative 1, that puts e on the bottom. So that tells me that c equals three Eulers. <laughs> so I'm going to put my constant back into where I started and I'll get y equals 3e e to the negative 1 over x and most likely um, it wouldn't be left in this form. Your exponent laws mean you're adding one more to it there. So we probably see that as our answer most likely. So the last one that we're going to look at is, um, oh, sorry, I lied. I think there's one more after this. My apologies. Um, is to take a look at this equation here. And one thing you should be doing now that you're looking at differential equations is thinking about what you want to remove. So that's what I've got here. Decide what you'd like to remove. That will help give you some strategy for what side of the equation they're going to be put on, etc. cetera. So um, in this one, it's already been separated. There's, there's no longer a derivative. You're given those differentials right there, dx and dy. It's been pulled apart somehow. Somehow we know this is the relationship, but we have to still try and separate them uh, and integrate. Okay, so give that a try. See how it goes. So this time, I see the uh, y that's stuck in here, and that makes me think I'd like to remove that. So I'm going to pull this piece over. This will be the start of my x's. Um, I'll have y squared minus 1 over e to the x squared, um, and I have a dy there. And on this side, I have x, y, dx, and since I have subtracted it, there'll be a negative there. So what I have to do now is try and pull out what I can. So this e to the x squared, um, I'd like to move it up and move this y down. And it looks like this is uh, e to the x squared. This looks like what I get right before the uh, integration. So now at this point, I'll be able to integrate both sides. Oops, have I forgotten? Went from bottom to top, yep. So uh, this is the monomial denominator. Hopefully this doesn't catch you anymore. Um, I would rewrite this as 
y minus 1 over y. And on this side, I'm going to get it set up to substitute. So I can see that I've got this x squared. So I would need a 2x, but I only have 1. So that's me thinking ahead. I have to be able to put a 2 in. So I put a half in front to balance it out. Okay. So at this point, um, I can integrate. This will be y squared over 2 minus natural log y equals, and this will be 1 half. Okay. Um, I don't know if you recognize the pattern here, but uh, you could do a substitution. You could say let u equal x squared du is 2x. This would become the integral of e to the u du. So anyways, if you see it right from the beginning, this would be e to the x squared. And there's still a negative sign there. Okay. Of course, we have our little constant here too. So this point of the initial condition, this is the point 0 and 1. So we have to put in the point 0 and 1 in order to figure out what this constant is going to be here. So I'll substitute those values in. If I put in 1 for y, I get 1 half minus the natural log of 1 equals negative 1 half e to the 0 plus my constant. So e to the 0, that's just 1. Natural log 1, that's 0. So 1 half equals negative 1 half plus my constant. So my constant equals to 1. And there's no easy way to separate these here. I'm going to leave it in implicit form. So I would leave this as the relationship y squared over 2 minus natural log y equals negative 1 half e to the x squared plus 1.